Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I'm your host Lorefan and this Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic build video we'll go ahead and build up our character mission you see here. As always like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget no cage bells to be updated and much more. Here are the pros and cons for this build. Obviously, Dex is king for this build, so not only you'll do good with the offense, also with some of the defense too, including the light armor. Another thing is Mission has some good skills to use. Another factor that is great with Mission is her sneak attack. Yes, her sneak attack is really OP. If you really know how to use it, she'll tear things up. Now, disadvantage is she won't have much feats, and at some point early on in the game, she is really squishy. So let's go ahead and get with her uh, stats and what does she start out with. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about our favorite scoundrel stats first. Uh, strength is 10. Okay. Dexterity 16 is great. We're going to get that to 20. Constitution 12, which is okay. Intelligence 14. All right, if you're going for the skills. Wisdom 11. We'll get that to 12 at level 20. Even things out. And Charisma 10. Now, reflex saves are the best. The other two are in the uh, pits. As for gear, she starts out with a regular generic blaster pistol and a stealth field generator belt. She has clothes, immediately give her some light armor. And no, we're not going have, to have the ability to have her have implants, unfortunately, to be equipped with. As for skills, she has computer use, demolition, uh, stealth, let's see, some points in awareness. We're going to skip persuade, we don't need to talk about that. Uh, repair, she has okay in that. Security, she has points into uh, that. As for feats, uh, she has some decent ones. Lastly, the blaster pistol. We're going to focus on that for the weapon. And uh, two uh, ranks in sneak attack, which is our, uh, which will automatically level up as she goes to 20. So let's go ahead and talk about how sneak attack works. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic sneak attack works like this. You have to either be in stealth via solo mode and then uh, get the first shot against the enemy. It'll be sneak attack bonus along with your regular attack. Or if it's a position, like for example, from the back, sneak attack also works if you stun your uh, foes or if you uh, make sure they don't attack or move at all. So I have mission position in the back. She has she is doing extra damage for her sneak attack. Now because the enemy is distracted towards me, my other uh, scoundrel is doing sneak attack too. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some uh, diagrams on why positioning and other factors are important for sneak attack. If you're facing your foes, you're not doing sneak attack. Instead, you're doing normal damage and your DPS will definitely suck. At times, when you do enough uh, sneak attack from behind or so, sometimes they'll face shield, have normal damage. You will have to improvise and avoid that. So let's talk about why you should do uh, damage from behind against your foes. If you're behind your foes, guess what? Sneak attack will definitely happen, just like you saw in the early part of this portion when I talk about sneak attack. So. When you uh, begin uh, starting out this game, you have mission your party, or if you're a scoundrel, get behind your enemies and sneak attack. Great idea to send someone else as bait to do so, so this way they'll be distracted on them while you do massive damage against them. Last but not least, there's other conditions that will trigger sneak attack. Now, besides uh, going to stealth via solo mode and then doing your first attack, which is a sneak attack, you can also uh, level the playing field like you see in the green. By using a concussion grenade to stun your foes, a blaster uh, rifle option or a pistol that has stun on it, or any force power that stuns, crowd controls, or puts your foes in a fear cowering. So uh, this way you could do a nice sneak attack. Yes, that's right. Even fear uh, dark side power line can stun your foes. When your foes are uh, also stunned via force power, anyway, it means necessary. That means you'll be able to do some nice sneak attack damage. That's correct. That is why mission is great with so many uh, force users. So I will definitely touch more on that when we get to the party members. But for now, that's about it for sneak attack. So let's go ahead and talk about why you should definitely level mission up the way I am doing it. Hey, it's time to go ahead and level mission. You guess it to level four. Since it's the level four, you get your attribute point. For this build, we're gonna go ahead and put four points in dexterity. So for this level, put a point in dexterity, big time. So there you go. Dexterity is now at 17. Now for skills, let's uh, go ahead and select Demolition, Stealth, Awareness, Security, and we have to store for uh, computer use. Oh, don't worry, we'll be able to definitely use that down the line every uh, two levels. So that should definitely do it, and you're basically done with level four. Ignore the message about storing your points, and there you have it. Now we're at, you guessed it, level five. So we're doing well with mission. 
She's doing backstab damage, I call it, aka sneak attacks. So, same thing for the skills. Demolition, stealth awareness, security, and put two points into computer use. Yeah, she's going to be doing that like part-time anyways. Now we got another sneak attack, which is good. So, this does this as 3 to 18 damage when you perform a sneak attack. Pretty good with uh, the set we have for mission. So what we're going to do is uh, two weapon fighting since we're going to uh, dual wheel pistols and she'll do more damage that way. We're going all the way with the two weapon fighting uh, line for her. So that should do it. It is now time to go ahead and level mission. You guessed it to level six. So let's uh, go ahead and give her skills. Yep, that's the only thing you do. Demolition, stealth, awareness, security. And unfortunately we don't have a point to put in computer use because that's how it rolls. Sorry, no feats for this level and hit the set button. Now you get improved scoundrel luck. Now uh, this does is it gives you another uh, defense, which is good. So instead of plus two, now you get plus four. Next up is level seven. So we're doing great on Tartarus as mission. She's doing some nice DPS damage either from behind or on stunned foes. Scales, demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and put your uh, cross points into you guys to computer use. It'll cost two points, but it's well worth it. And that's it, we are done. Now we get Sneak Attack 4. Let's go ahead and check this uh, free feat out. Sneak Attack 4 does this 4 through 24 damage. It's a huge improvement from the previous one. We are now, you uh, guessed it, level 8. So let's get her up there. This is probably most likely uh, last time on Tartarus, or if you're on Dantooine, you get that level. So we're going to put points in Dexterity. This is level 4, so put that point in the Dexterity ASAP. Now do demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and yeah, we cannot do computer use. That's all right. Leave that alone. We're going to store that for later. Now for feats, we're going to do is improve two weapon fighting. That is our next uh, goal. So let's uh, go ahead and select that. So now we get less penalized when we do wielding pistols. Yeah, at this point, you should start doing that anyways. Hit the OK and you're done with this level. We're uh, at level 9 now, so let's uh, go ahead and get mission up there. So we only get skills for it, that's alright. So let's demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and put your two points into computer use. And call it a day for this level, and we should be done with it. Hit the accept button. Now we get sneak attack 5, so our sneak attack will even do more damage. And that is uh, 5 through 30, it's better than the last one. Now we're almost halfway through the game on leveling, which is level 10. So let's go ahead and finish off the first 10 levels. So for our skill, demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and we cannot put any more points to computer use. That's all right. Hit the OK button, and then you're definitely done with this uh, level. So let's get to level 11. Time to get mission to level 11. So let's uh, go ahead and get her that level and see what we could definitely get this time for her all right skills we get to do is demolition stealth awareness security you know the drill and put two points into computer use that should be good as for feats besides sneak attack we get let me show you all what that is sneak attack six now add six to 36 of damage when you do sneak attacks good improvement from the last one so now what we're going to do is go ahead and do master two weapon fighting so that means we'll have a pistol in each hand no real penalties, which is good. So if we use balanced pistols, we uh, get a nice uh, bonus with that with the uh, main hand. And that should do it for the feats. Let's get to the next level. Now we're at level 12, which is the level of force, which is 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So we're going to put a point in the dexterity. So we should be exactly at 19 dexterity. So we're uh, there. So we're going to go ahead and hit the OK button. Sorry, no feats for this level for skills, demolition, stealth, awareness, and security, and store your point for the next level. And that should do it for this level. We'll hit the accept button. Now we get Master Scoundrel Luck. I believe this is the last one, the Scoundrel Luck, and this will give you plus six defense. So that is pretty good for mission. So that's a big upgrade from the plus four previous tier, and there you have it. We're at level 13, so we're uh, keep on going with our leveling up our mission character. So let's uh, go ahead and select that button. Skills, demolition, stealth, awareness, uh, security, you know what to do. And computer use too, since we have the two points. So we should be really up there, and that should definitely do it after we hit the accept button. And let's see what we get. Another sneak attack. You guessed it. Now it's number 7, which is 7 to 42 damage when it's add to your sneak attack, which is really good at this point. 
Now we're at level 14, so we're doing some nice damage with Mission. She's the top DPS in your team. You're wrecking foes like crazy thanks to uh, using tactics for sneak attack. So for skills, you're going to do is demolition, stealth, awareness, and security. And store your point for the next level. That should do it for that. Hit the OK button. Now we get some feats. So at this point, uh, since we got the uh, blasters, I should say, no, the dual wielding. Now we're going to boost our uh, blaster weapons. So that should be uh, weapon focus. I'm just looking there real quick. There it is. Blaster pistol. So we get plus one damage with our blasters, which is good. So we'll definitely select that. There's iron for that, but I'd rather have the feat itself just in case I find something better or alternative to uh, use. And that should do it for this level. Now we're at level 15. So after we get to 15, we only have five levels left until the level 20 cap. So let's see what we could get for this uh, level. Okay, we only get skills. Sorry, no feats at all, but that's all right. Demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and put your two points into computer use for hacking things your way. Now we get sneak attack number eight. So you guessed it, more damage for a sneak attack. So let's go ahead and select that. Now it's eight to 48 uh, points of damage when we uh, do sneak attacks now. That is pretty good. So let's get to the next level. We're at the last five levels for mission. We're gonna start with level 16. This is one of the levels of four once again. So you get to attribute point. We're gonna put a point in the dexterity even that out to 20. So our modifier is now plus five, which is a good thing. Skills, Demolition, Stealth, Awareness, Security, and we'll store the point for the next level. And that should definitely do it. Hit the OK button. We're done with this level. Let's get to the uh, next one. We are now officially at, you guessed it, level 17. So things are looking up for Mission. She's even doing more DPS. She's ruling the uh, roost on the DPS boards. So we're doing Demolition, Stealth, Awareness, Security, and put that point into computer use. That should definitely uh, do it for mission. Now for feats, we get sneak attack nine. That is the last sneak attack. This will give you nine to 54 in extra damage when you do a sneak attack. Couple it with some uh, very powerful uh, blaster pistols and you're golden. So what we're gonna do is uh, toughness. So uh, we get one uh, point per uh, level. This is retroactive. So at one extra hit point does help for mission since she is very squishy. We are at once again leveling up mission. We're level 18. We're getting closer to that cap. So let's see what mission we'll get for this uh, level. Uh, as for skills, demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and put your point into computer use if you can. We cannot. We'll do it for the next level anyways. It'll be for the last time. So hit the OK button and that should do it for this level. So let's get to 19. Now we're at level 19, so we're getting closer to that level 20 cap. So let's see what we could get for mission. Uh, demolitions, stealth, awareness, security, and one last point in the computer use. So that's it for our cross class skills. And we'll be uh, definitely done with that. We we'll hit the OK button and then get to uh, level 20 next. So let's do that now. We're at the final level, so we're at the uh, cap levels. This is the last time to uh, put some uh, points into it, and this is a level 4-2. Now, due to the fact I want to make sure I want to keep dexterity even, we're going to put a point in the wisdom, so that'll be even now, plus one modifier, which is nice. I'll get our will saves up there, too, by a point or so, so things are looking up for mission now. As for uh, skills, uh, demolition, stealth, awareness, security, and that's it. You cannot put the last point in, but that's all right. Don't worry. We have other important things to get for mission besides that anyways. So uh, next up is uh, feats. What we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and do improved toughness. So besides the regular toughness we get, we also subtract two damage uh, points. So in other words, we get to take less damage, which is a good thing. We're done leveling up mission. So next portion of this build video will be your party members and who should you uh, team up with mission with those party members. Let's uh, go over each of the party members. If your force character can uh, crowd control, he is great. Then you could uh, add another uh, non-force user. If not, Jolie is the uh, best force user for uh, that uh, department. You can use Juhani too, but she's more offensive. She's a great tank also. Vastla is good for crowd control too. If you decide to give her the two uh, crowd control uh, skills to max out those. As for non-force users, uh, Kandaris is uh, one of the best tanks. You also go tank like Juhani, which is great. So give Kandaris like a 
two uh, one-handed weapons, and he'll tear things up. Same thing with Big Z, too. Yes, Big Z can be a monstrous tank, especially at the beginning of the game. If you deal well with him, Karth is all right for a tank. Use him as for distraction. As for the droids, uh, yeah, I'd probably say uh, sideline him because the uh, little one, that's uh, for more of the skills and that what mission could do anyway, so you could get rid of him. HK-47, bring him along if you want to hear dialogue, that's about it. So next portion of the video we're going to talk about is gear. It is now time to go over the gear for a mission. I'm going to go over what blaster pistols are the best, what light armor you should have, or anything else that commission could use. Now with this build, you cannot use implants, so I will definitely leave that out. So let's start with the blaster pistols, then I'll go from there. Here are the blaster pistols that you should want to get for mission. Mandalorian Heavy Pistol. Now the damage is energy, 4 through 11. Dice roll is 1d8 plus 3. Damage bonus is plus 2. Attack modifier is plus 3 on that. Location, there's a lot of them there. Tanoine, so first shop that sells it, buy a a ASAP for mission. Kalo Nord, when you face him the second time, will drop two of these. So make sure you loot his body ASAP along with his armor too. And on the uh, water planet Mon in the Sith base, if you kill Sasha, it's a dark side act. However, you will get one of those pistols. Next up is uh, the second best pistol in the game, I believe, or the best one, depending on your uh, point of view. Cassius Fett Heavy Pistol. This is upgradable. Now, when it's not upgraded, it's uh, 4 through 11 uh, damage with a plus 3 uh, uh, attack modifier. Location, Korriban. Bree sells only one of these, but when you see her, buy ASAP. She's not a merchant that's high behind anything, so go ahead and buy it. So let's get to the last uh, blaster pistol we should get for mission. Last but not least is the Sith Assassin Pistol. Not the regular one. This is a very special one. You'll know it when you equip it. Damage is energy 9 through 6. That's 1d4 plus 5 on the dice roll. Damage bonus is 1 through 10 ion damage. Now when you hit a foe with it, it's a 50% chance of stun for 6 seconds. This is great for mission by the way. Direct challenge is 10 of course on the stun. Attack modifier 5. Location, Leviathan Bridge. It's dropped by the Admiral. Kill the Admiral in that area and loot the pistol ASAP. So let's go ahead and talk about the gear next. Let's talk about implants. We cannot use them since we do not have the implant 1, 2, and 3 feet. Let's uh, go ahead and go over headgear, combat sensor, plus 2 dex. Bonus uh, uh, feats are uh, weapon focus, blaster pistol, and blaster rifle. Location is the Mon uh, and planet and it's at the Tarvox shop. Very easy to find. For some reason, if someone else is using those or you cannot uh, buy it, the other alternative is the Vert Pine Ocular Enhancer. That is uh, plus one dex. Uh, damage resistance is uh, five slash uh, versus Sonic. Locations on uh, Korriban. I believe it's at the Circus Store. So let's get to the next set of gear. Next up on the list are the hands. The Advanced Stabilizer Gloves plus three dexterity. Blaster Bolt Deflection is plus 5 location on Yarvin. You got 3 chances to get these. I mean, come on. The first uh, uh, time when you get the first star map, you visit there. Third uh, star map and the fifth star map. For some reason, if you're having an issue getting those, sell for the plus 1 dex ones. They're all over the place. Now, as for Arms AK Shield, the Vert Pine Prototype Shield, which absorbs the following 120 uh, points worth of damage, energy, sonic, cold, or heat. If you're uh, cheap, you don't want to use those up. Well, guess what? The improved energy resistance by a force user will help mission out greatly. So let's get to the last set of gear. Let's talk about the belts for mission. The uh, Bragwan Stealth Unit plus 3 Dexterity skills is Awareness plus 4 and Stealth plus 10. This is a great belt for mission. Location, you are after the 5th star map. So once you get the 5th star map done, come here and buy it. Uh, if you cannot afford this or you uh, have someone else using it, then get the Adrenaline uh, Stimulator, plus two decks, all saves, plus four location Korriban at that special shop. For some reason, you can't get the Yarvin one, or the shop is bugged, or you can't access it. Get four or two belts, they'll help you out greatly for mission. Body, Light Exoskeleton, this is upgradable. Now, if it's not upgraded, it's plus one Strength and Dexterity. Six AC, your location Yarvin, you got three chances to get this. Since mission is your only character in the game, that is stealthy and you have the uh, credits go ahead spend that money to get that uh 
light exoskeleton suit. And now, if you uh, cannot get this yet or you don't have the cash, Darth Bandon's uh, fiber armor is a very good alternative. This is upgradable. Damage resistance is 25 versus fire, 5 AC. Location, you gotta kill Darth Bandon uh, for it. This is after the 4th star map, so when you see the cutscene with him in it, and then you get the 4th star map, go kill him for it. That is it for equipment. So for the next part of this uh, build video is uh, tactics and how to use mission in combat with others. Let's go over the efficiency of mission in combat and how to be really effective with uh, mission. Mission can do some nice DPS damage. As always, uh, have your Jedi buff up. Has said Jedi to use stasis field, for example, to stun lock these foes. Now, if you cannot stun lock them, have mission get behind said foes and start blasting like crazy. Since these are stun lock, look, look at the mission's damage. It's really up there. And I'm going to say that she can really finish off uh, two of the three... Uh, Dark Jedi's as you see before you. Yeah, you see missions top damage when the folks are stunned like crazy. So you uh, definitely want to remember that. So make sure you stun lock your foes, have mission attack, and that's it. If you cannot stun lock them, get behind your foes and start blasting like crazy after, of course, uh, someone tanks said foes to keep them busy. So let's go over some final advice for uh, mission. Whether you're starting out with mission or you're much further in the game uh, when you're playing with mission in your party, always have someone else to buff and then another party member to go in and be the distraction. Once that happens, have mission ear attack from behind. If you're definitely starting out or if your force powers are being resisted and start knocking uh, foes. Or uh, better yet, if your foes are stun locked, have mission attack after a stun lock happens. So this way, mission does some serious damage. Make sure Mission has the best blaster pistols out there, so this way that damage is really high. Uh, always try to go for a uh, light armor that has uh, more uh, defensive bonuses, thanks to uh, dex bonuses, of course, on uh, that. Other than that, just uh, keep Mission away from the front lines, and you'll uh, do well playing as Mission. Well, everyone, this is it for my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Mission build video. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides and builds just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner of the screen or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Have a great day or night and may the force be with you.